Hello and welcome to um, the start of what I hope will be sort of a long-running thing where I play um, a ton of games that I've got. Um, I've got so many games that I've hardly played um, and I want to give them all a try. Um, try them out. You know, some of them sound pretty goddamn fun. Um, and, you know, it'll be something a bit different. You know, a one-off video of just, I don't know, well, this episode's going to be carnage and infection and killing lots of people. But, yeah, I've got, I've got so many games that I want to do videos on. Um, and, you know, a lot of them will just be like half an hour videos. It should be good fun for you to watch. It'll make a nice change from Minecraft. So I hope you guys are into this. Um, I'm going to start a... Oh, there's multiplayer. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's not that. Man, when multiplayer comes in, that'll be awesome. Um, you can create your own scenarios. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so single player. So there's like um, a bunch of scenarios. We've got official scenarios here. Let's have a look. Because I haven't actually played any of these. So there's the Black Death, which we haven't actually completed. There's, look how many there are. So many. I'm I'm bad at this game though. Like I I really struggle to take out the whole world. I get so close and just just fail at the end. Um, this is the black created equal. So we get all of these by completing the black. Well, we unlock everything by completing the black black death scenario, and then we can try out all the others. Oh sweet! Do we try it now? We'll we'll go for. I mean, I also want in the main game. Um, I still haven't unlocked the virus. Um, because I'm bad. There is simian flu. It sounds kind of interesting. Genetically modified, increases ape intelligence, but untested on humans. Ooh. Ooh. Do we go for the simian flu? The film was out a little while ago. I haven't tried it yet, but I kind of want to do the bacteria run to unlock, um, win the game on normal with bacteria. I kind of want to unlock a virus because it sounds kind of cool. So let's go for bacteria again. Um, we've only unlocked, like, no amount of plagues. We've only got one gene, which is the terracite gene, which, um... Increases the chance to display the plague spreading by land. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Um, so let's get to it. Right, let's just... Oh, I went back, didn't I? Continue. See, we've unlocked hardly any genes. We'll do it on normal. I, I really struggled to do it. Oh, hang on, there's cheats. Hang on. Cheats? Ah, oh, I haven't unlocked any. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. Fimbola is the name I pick up all of my viruses. Um, well, diseases. Yeah, it's pretty insensitive. Um, let's go. Welcome to Plague. Come out to play. I know all this shit. So we've got to infect the whole world. So where do we want to start? I mean, mm, this is an important factor where we start. Um, now, generally, you, I, I found that actually starting in a country that's got a lot of travel to and from it is quite really good. So a country with a lot of airports. So, for example, North America. I've actually started in North America before. The only problem with it is North America has better healthcare so that they can resist the disease more. Alright? So... Do we just go for it anyway? This could be go wrong. But let's go for America. It's got a lot of airports and people travel a lot from America around the world. So, 3 to 9 million people. Let's go. Um, now, one thing I found is that um, using DNA points... Um, for example, if a disease automatically develops a symptom, you should probably leave it because later on that could be the clinch whether you win or lose. Um, because like, like I've had been like one point short of having organ failure and it's just wrecked me because I needed to buy some other stuff. So one person is infected, but we've got eight points. So let's up. So we do want the ability of um, drug resistance here. Um, increases the effectiveness of wealthy countries, which we are in. Um, but transmission airwaves is always a strong one and also waterborne. Um, they both cost the same, so let's go for uh, Waterborne for now. Everyone's got a drink. Um, so we'll just wait for it. Hopefully it will spread fairly quickly once we get a few infected. So two people are infected now. Um, but there's three dots on the map, which doesn't make sense. But there we go. Right, we'll just wait to get some points. So I'll, I'll whack the speed up, because it does take quite a long time. First 4D film release. What the hell would that even involve? Um, 50,000 bomber or oh, border guards are threatened to strike and disrupt traffic in form of DMZ due to poor employment prospects. What's DMZ? Uh, is that a country? I don't know. I should probably know what that is, but I don't. Um, new leader of the World Health Organization elected. Oh man. Huge earthquake in Italy. I was there recently. It was, it was beautiful. Two pip. Come on, spread already. Come on. Wow, reason spreading. Right, we want to get some more infectivity here, some, some air waves. Now, I, what I also didn't realize is some of the symptoms also increase the rate of spread, like, for example, coughing. And that's one thing I was missing out. So I was removing, like, coughing because I thought, oh, people will notice coughing. 
Um, but I didn't realise that coughing was actually a good, great way to spread it. Um, so we want to go to ability. Oh, we can't get drug resistance yet. Symptoms. So we've got... See, look, coughing, four points, and it gives us a bunch more, um, like, spread ability. And it's and it's one step on the way through here. So, look, this, again, increases infectivity, pneumonia. Um, oh, God, that in sneezing. So sneezing is not very dangerous, but it's, the infectivity is crazy. So I might use this to help me this time. So we'll go down. I think we might go down sneezing. Not not straight away. We'll wait. But um, hopefully coughing will, will help us... Uh, spread this a bit it's working a little bit we want drug resistance as well sooner rather than later because we are in a wealthy country and it might we want this to spread quickly so what 10 people so realistically it wouldn't spread here here and here it's spread into one place and sort of grow out like a ball um ah can we get afford drug resistance we can okay that's good so that should hopefully increase how fast it spreads i'm not certain but it should do because we're in a wealthier country it's quite it is quite an in-depth um, game, to be fair. I mean, like, on the ultra-hard difficulties, it's basically like real Earth, so it's really hard to actually kill the whole world. Like, the chances are so low. You have to, you have to like, painstakingly do it. Um, so there we go. We're getting some spread now. That 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 upgrade actually was pretty good. Um, so, the North of the Americas are getting getting all up infected in this grill. Um, they're getting infected with Fimbola, uh, which currently is just a cough. Quite annoying, to be fair. It's like, oh, coughing, ugh, annoying. Um, but it's not that dangerous. Uh, do we want to get genetic hardening? Decreases future research. No, we don't want to get that right way. We want to, we want to spread it more. Um, how much are these? 16 and 17. Uh, so, oh, we probably want to get the waterborne thing too. That's very good in uh, modern countries, I'd imagine. Although the filtering system might stop it, I don't know. But it's definitely spreading now. 300, 400, 500. It just spirals out of control, basically. Um, nausea symptom. Hmm. Now, let's check out what that does, because this could be good or bad. So, nausea doesn't increase... Uh, increases severity a bit, but doesn't increase um, infectivity at all. It leads on to the... Uh, what happens if we de-evolve it? Uh, it does increase... Actually, you know, we'll keep it on there for now. It might be like the, a win or lose thing again, as I said. The main one you want to go for in the end is organ failure, though. So we need 17 points to get waterborne too. Shouldn't take too long. As we're spreading quite rapidly now. It's only a matter of time before it gets to another country, and then we're, we're, we're a go, pretty much. And so 4,000 infected. Oh my god, it's actually... It's killing people. What? Really? People are dying from this? I'm surprised. It's just a cough. No, nobody could. Surely nobody's dying. Hang on. And let's pause this. What? Really? 2,000 people are dead? Wow. People are dying from a cough. That's. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. Well, at least that'll get me more points. Um, yeah, it's infecting a lot of people now. Uh, the dead aren't increasing anymore, though. Aha! New country. Oh, oh! Oh, I nearly missed that. Right, 100,000 infected. Okay, the infection rate's spreading quite fast now. Which is good to know. It's in the UK. Good. And the UK travels a lot as well, so that's great. It's going to be in... Russia. Ooh. Okay, Raoul. We probably want up infectivity. Um... It's infecting a million people now, mostly Americans. All right, this is where it spreads because British people travel a lot as well. Because Britain is horrible and miserable, so <laughs> we want to get away from the rain. Oh, there we go. Oh, America is traveling like hell. Look at that, nice. Traveling from whatever state that is there. I'm not really sure what's. It. I, I'm not aware of the middle states of America. I'm not really sure. right. We've got so many points. Right, let's, let's do something about this. Right, airborne too. Let's go for it. And let's actually go for some more abilities. Because I've never really go for the abilities too much. Which is probably something I should do. So do we want to go for cold resistance? Um, or drug resistance? Genetic hardening? Uh, let's go for cold. For now. Um, so that it can spread into the northern hemisphere. Because some I often have trouble getting into like, the green leather. It, it gets there but it doesn't spread. Because it's... Uh, ah, see, like, Iceland's cold. So this should help. Oh my god, we're getting, we're getting here now. 
Whoa, okay, so 90 million people are infected. 100 million. Whoa, this is infecting fast. This is good. Whoa, okay, we might actually win this one for once. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. New minor disease spreading. Okay. That's what you think is minor. Um, right, we probably want to get... What's this? Heat resistance. Great. Uh, let's go for... Man, uh, genetic hardening is always good, and then we can go genetic hardening too. And it, oh, we can do that now, and that means that it'll decrease research like crazy. Like that's the pro I normally lose just to like a few minutes worth of research. Um, so if we make it really hard to research, then it should. Oh my god, all the points. Okay, right. Uh, how, how many people are infected quickly? Um, okay, so 95% are still healthy, but it's infected a lot of countries. So we probably wanna increase infectivity still um so we could go for this and that increases it quite a lot and it'll also it doesn't increase its lethality at all so let's go for that let's actually get a symptom going sneezing everyone sneezes everyone gets a cold and sneeze you don't expect it to kill you you're just like no oh, i'll get over it in a week um Greer is the first to instruct Dr. Skin research and cure from Ebola without great funding expected to take a long time sweet that's good so, uh, Korea, which is, uh, where is Korea? Because it'll come up with a little thing to crush. Oh my god, we've got all the points. Okay, right, it's spreading like mad now. Um, we probably want to upgrade some abilities. Um, so, genetic reshuffle. Uh, more work needs to be developed. Do we want to, do we want to, I probably want to save that, don't I? Genetic hardening 2. Hmm. Or drug resistance 2, even. Hmm. Or do we go for, ooh. Extreme aerosol. Oh, man. And do I just save my points? Like, it's spreading like crazy now. Um, maybe I should just save my points. The entirety of America is infected, but nobody is dead. Uh, right, we've got 54 points here. Um, how much of the world is infected? Oh my god, wow. Wow. Right, we might win this. Spreading here. Oh, it's spreading everywhere. It's in... Uh, how many... Oh. The fever symptom mutated, right? World, how many countries? Oh, everyone's infected, right? We can start upping killing rates now. Oh, we're, we're doing this perfectly. This has gone much better this time. Um, so let's get immune suppression. And then we'll wait a minute and then we'll get organ failure just to wreck. Okay. So people are going to start dying now because of immune suppression. So if they're already weak. Um, oh my god, Italy brings skins to break down instantly. Um... So we don't want them to die too fast because otherwise it stops the spread in these countries that aren't fully infected yet, which is bad, okay? We don't want that to happen because otherwise everyone dies and non if, if everyone's dead, it can't spread, okay? Makes sense? Um, oh, we're actually going to win this one. I've lost every game before. Maybe it's because I didn't have the symptoms. We've got 129 points. Oh, we are going to crush. The genetic resistance is good. Right, how much of the world is infected? Right, do we go for... How are these countries doing? Are they spreading decently? It is spreading quite well. I think, right, we should probably go for heat resistance. Heat resistance too, because this is a hot country they're struggling with. 120 points. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, genetic reshuffle, why not? And then let's go for organ failure. Boom. Oh my god, right. Let's see, this, the problem these these countries, people could die too fast. Um, but I don't think so, because I just put the heat resistance. So I should spread quickly enough. Yes! Plumery for a bro Oh, we're going to win this one. Look at that. I don't even need to adjust the points. Wow, that spread so fast with the heat resistance. Um, with the cold resistance. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. Oh, man. I think the entire world is infected. Oh, not, not quite. Who's not infected? Who isn't infected? Oh god, it's only just placed on watch list. Who isn't infected? Okay, right, 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 we need to take this off. Some people aren't infected. Okay. Oh. And that's bad, okay, because... Who isn't infected? Hang on, hang on, hang on, we need to... Oh, what the... F I was doing so well. Right, genetic reshuffle two. Okay, who is not infected? Ah, okay, now the last... Right, now we go for it. God, I thought we were going to have some problems there. So, saving all my points is worth it. Now everyone dies. 
Yay, we win. Nobody's going to survive this now. Woo. I did it. I bloody did it. Hell yeah. Okay, so the symptoms are actually quite important for spreading it. As well as saving points. Which I didn't realise. Um, yeah, we've easily got this. The research is going really slow because there's no one left to research. They're all just dead. It's a zombie apocalypse. I think there is a zombie apocalypse one uh, as well. Fimbola mutation patterns extraordinary. Scientists are struggling to understand the extraordinary mutation patterns of Fimbola. Ha ha ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh man, it's setting back a bit. Nice. It auto mutated. <laughs> we got this in the bag. Suddenly there's a cure, <laughs> and like the last hundred mil people live. But no, we got this. It's going. I like the way it goes black as well. An extra point or two. So this is the problem near the end of the game. You don't get any points. So it's, you, uh, saving them is actually quite important. Um, and I think we win. Yes. Awesome. Oh, there's just one guy in a lab who's like just sitting there uninfected, just researching the cure for himself. And it's like, oh, damn it. Your bloody Iceland or whatever. The country's always. Oh, Madagascar always shuts off its borders, doesn't it? And we win. Woo! That was pretty infe infe infective. It was infective, actually, wasn't it? Effective is the word I was going to use. All right, I think we should go for another round. Uh, that's the first time I've won that. And we should probably unlock some stuff. Yay, I finally figured out how to play this game properly. <laughs> Fimbolo to eradicate humans. Well, there's probably nobody to watch the news anymore, so... Um, let alone broadcast it. Maybe someone's blogging still. There'd be no internet, because everyone, like it's all powered by generators and stuff, isn't there? So, Yay, we win! Let's get a point. <laughs> Random. And... Oh, no, we don't, we're not quite dead. I thought everyone was dead. 16... 11, 10, 6, 3, 2, 0. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. I got achieved. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. In 909. Wow, I couldn't have set that. 999 days. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, sweet. So this is like the spread of the. Well, yeah, what happened there? So a bunch of people. Oh! I know why people died. There was the earthquake thing, wasn't there? So it killed some of the world's population. Duh. <laughs> I was confused as to why 2,000 people were dead, but only three were infected. All right, cool. Um, zero file gene and type virus have been discovered and unlocked. Sweet. Right, let's give a go to virus. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this now. Um, so uh, how do we play a virus? A rapidly mutating pathogen, which is extremely hard to control. This sounds like fun to play. Um. So we've got to win the game on virus to unlock the fungus. Fungus, I can imagine, I don't know if I've ever heard of a fungus kill somebody. So, um, the following new gene type is discovered and unlocked. Xerophile. So what does that do? Um, so we don't have any genes here. We don't have any genes here. Terracite. And Xerophile. So what does this do? Give your plague a bonus in arid climates. Ooh, okay. That sounds good. So we don't have to go for sort of the heat thing. All right. I like the, the gene bonuses. Uh, I like the way it looks different as well when you add the genes. If I take this away, uh, normally, normally they look different, but maybe it's just the virus thing. I don't know. Maybe that's the thing I need to add. But this game still isn't finished, so it seems pretty popular. I mean, it's not that expensive. There's a lot of play in it. Like, I played it for like three hours, and I've only done finally managed to get that. Um, so we'll play it on normal again, um, and we're obviously going to call this one Fimbol again. Um, because this is actually a virus, so it makes more sense. Whereas the last one was a bacteria. Um, okay, so do we want to start in America again? Or do we want to start in somewhere arid? Because it has bonuses to arid. So we can start in like Saudi Arabia. Or... Um, Australia actually is pretty arid, isn't it? Okay, let's go in Australia. Um, so it's infected first human. Weak, weak and used to hot temperatures. It must evolve using DNA to infect more people. Okay, so yeah, used to hot temperatures, which is the arid thing, which is good. So that was probably a good shout. Um, uh, it randomly mutates rapidly and can be hard to control. It costs DNA points to do it, de evolve. Maybe this will work in our favour. Maybe it would be a bit of luck. So it's going to like evolve very rapidly. Um, so it means it could get symptoms that make it more likely to be spotted, which would be bad. Um, so at least the arid thing's gonna help it out here, because it's actually started in the middle of the desert. I mean, no one even lives here. 
literally all this here is a couple of ranches and just nothingness. Um, let's go for oh evolution history. Didn't look at this before. Uh, so transmission. So all the same things again. Symptoms and abilities. Oh, this is different. So evolve with viral instability. What's this do? Uh, increasing random mutations. Hmm. I might add that in later. That might help me out. Um, should we go for? Uh, let's just go for airwaves in a minute. Eight points. We'll just wait for that. Wait, no. How many points? It's like eleven, isn't it? We fought it now. There yeah, we go. Nine points even. Airwaves, and then we'll go water again. That's pretty effective. And then we'll probably add in some drug resistance because this is a drug resistance. Actually, we might we want to do that first um, because Africa, not Africa, Australia is a uh, millions pre-order for latest smartphones. I still don't own a smartphone, believe it or not. I have a a shitty phone. Um, there's a new social network on the scene. For people without friends, Blank Book Plus is expected to attract billions of people within days. I don't think there's that many people without friends. Jeez, it's a bit grim, isn't it? <laughs> um, luckily, that's not a real thing. My well, social networking does piss me off sometimes. Anyway, Finbolo's mutate and develop anemia symptom. Okay, is anemia bad? Is that bad for me? As long as it doesn't kill anybody, it's it should be fine. I'm going to check it out though in a second. Right. We can be afford uh, drug resistance now, which is important. Um, anemia. What does this do? Decreases in red blood, look, red blood cell. Okay. What does this one do? This in, uh, hemophilia. Immune system produces in inhibitors that destroy the factor V8, preventing blood clotting infectivity increased. That's quite cheap for free DNA points. Okay. Well, we'll leave that because that's... Not bad, it could maybe branch off onto that. And it doesn't actually, it's not dangerous for it at the moment. So right, there we go. The, the drug resistance seems to be helping out. There we go. Right, maybe we'll zoom out. It's only a matter of time before someone travels by a port or an airport. Um, and it's right near the port, actually, so maybe it will. Maybe it will. Right, uh, more infectivity, I think. Waterborne. Alrighty. Okay. I'm fairly confident we might be able to do this first time again. But we shall see. I don't know. Things could happen. If it evolves rapidly. Oh, the rash symptom. Now that we... Hmm. Uh, so we lose three DNA points if we de-evolve it. Uh, I think. Hmm. Uh, what do we get from the sweating? Uh, we'll leave it for now. If it... We, we'll take them off in the future. We probably want to work on spreading it first. It's The rash won't kill anybody, though. People get rashes all the time. Although, if everybody got a rash, it'd be kind of obvious, wouldn't it? Um, Alright. Seven points. Okay, we're spreading here nicely. 900, 1,000. Come on, Australia. You can do it. No points we're gaining. Uh, is there anything we can get for seven points? Transmission. I guess we could get a cot. Oh, we could get this. But it increases severity quite a lot, whereas a cost doesn't increase its very much. Um, but increases infectivity by just as much. Let's go for a cough. This might come back to bite me in the bum if it evolves further. Oh, there we go. Straight away. Oh, my God. Uh, that's bad, isn't it? Pneumonia. Um, oh, it's quite... Uh, oh, we'll leave it. Just for now. Uh, as long as nobody picks up on it. Ah, there we go. It's in India. Nice. So maybe that's like a trade ship or something to India. Awesome. It's in uh, China. Alright, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Okay, so it's, in fact, it's not killing anybody, which is good. Ah, now, plumeria epidemia edema is pretty bad, actually. Um, oh, wow, though, it spreads it like crap. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we are going to get... Cold resistance? Yes. I think that's important to get soon, because if it goes to a northern country, you want it to spread quickly. Oh, God. People are dying. People are actually dying now. Um, but, oh my, wow, it spread quickly. 
Maybe we want to remove Plurimary Redeemer though. Well, actually, only 90 people in the world have died from it. It's not actually that many. Whoa! Okay. Australia likes to travel as well. 200 people are dead. Um, out of like 6 million infected. So, that's really not too bad actually. Wow, we're getting so many points. Okay. Right, let's go. Oh my god. Uh, Airwaves 2? Waterborne 2. Let's make it crazy infective. And... Genetic hardening. In the, that's probably a good one. And then we're probably going to genetic hardening too. Um, to stop it. Okay, minor disease spreading. Okay, so people know about spreading. First death in Australia. Okay, as long as the deaths don't increase too rapidly. Uh, oh man, Australia's working on a cure already. Oh crap. Okay, right. Um, do we go for... We'll wait a minute to do the genetic reshuffle. Or we can go genetic hardening again. Which will be important. Man, it's spreading like crazy. But it's not in every country. Okay, now it might be in every country. Oh my. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it... Let's check the world. Oh, still a lot of healthy countries. Cure... Cure... 20 years until completion of the cure. Nobody shut borders and stuff yet. Um, it is spreading crazy fast. We'll go for genetic hardening 2. We will go for drug resistance 2. We will go for all the resistance. We want we want to make sure it spreads to everybody. Uh, cold resistance 2. Okay, we've got a lot of points left over. Um, we should be good. As long as it doesn't kill too many people too quickly, but it's spreading. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. What have I done? No. I don't care about the news. Placed on watch list. Okay, right. It's spreading like nuts now. Australia shut down the airports. That's too late, I think, for anything to matter. Um, vomiting symptom mutated. Oh my god, okay. Uh, that'll spread it further though, won't it? Oh my god. Whoa, have we infected every country yet? Greenland, Sweden, and Morocco. Oh, come on, Greenland. Don't do this to me. Okay. Right, we can do this. Come on. Aha! Ah, Greenland, there we go. Paranoia? Come on, Morocco. Is that it? Yes. Okay, right, we up the... We up the... Oh my god, 100 points. <laughs> Do we go for this? Just make it go completely out of control. Yeah, screw it. This, sh this should be fun. Oh my god. Genetic reshuffle. Genetic reshuffle 2. And we'll wait for genetic reshuffle 3. Okay, cysts. Oh my god, this is brutal. Whoa. Uh, nausea. Oh my god. Oh wait, we actually want it to infect people before it kills them all, though, don't we? Seizures. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a horrific. Um, as long as it infects people without killing them all. Sneezing. The thing is, if it kills them too quickly, again, we have problems. Uh, but no, it's infecting them crazy fast. Diarrhea. Um, okay. Yeah, no, we're good. We are good, I think. Yes, that's good stuff. Oh, my God. It's just... Hang on. Look at the symptoms, they're going fucking crazy. Um, no, we'll wait. We should be good. Right, it's infected a lot of the world. Um, nearly all of the world. So it's just Greenland that needs to be finished off. And actually, we want to get some resistance quickly. Drug resistance, uh, genetic reshuffle 3. And we'll get total organ failure. This should do it. Coma. Oh my god. This is like the most horrific disease ever. Canada begins to break down. I'm not surprised. There are no people left in the world healthy, right? Everyone's going to die. There's no way in hell they can survive this. Um, paralysis. Man, this has got to stop research, surely, if everyone's got this shit. Should I just buy everything? Um, what the hell is this? Insanity? Uh, how is that more effective? Um... Systemic infection. Oh my god, this is brutal. Let's go for that. Just make it 100% fatal. 
Uh, let's go for tumors. Let's go for uh, fever. Oh my god. This is... Oh my god, what's this? Internal hemorrhaging. Jesus. This is... <laughs> this is a crazy lethal disease. People are going to die so fast. Oh my god. Wow. Plumary fibrosis. Man, that genetic mutation thing is insane. Everyone's gone. This is it. Game over. Wow, we did it. Look at that. I'm proud of myself for doing this first time. So the symptoms is quite an important one to actually develop rather than ignore. Um, I think. Which I didn't... Oops. Symptom co combo. What? Sneezing and diarrhea are causing un unwanted incidents. <laughs> Lowering uh, productivity and drawing attention to Fimbola. I think it's a bit late for that. Well, there's a cure thing here, but I think it's too late, to be honest. And there'll be another cure thing here. But everybody is dead. Hypersensitivity, oh my god. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Um, okay, 12,000. Yes, everyone gone. Man, that was a blitz. Holy shit. Wow. That was fun. It was so much faster as well. Wow. I love watching this thing play back. Just watch it play back in speed. So you can see it spreading, spreading, spreading. It's pretty cool watching this back, actually. And at one point, it just goes mental. Um... Genetic complexity complex. Man, let's just watch this quickly. So, day 156. Well, we've got 100 odd days before anything happening much. 600 days in total. Alright, so we're one third of the way through. Nothing much yet. Nothing much yet. Nothing much yet. You know, a little bit of spread. You know, 300. Halfway through, pretty much, the infection cycle here. And oh my god, here it goes. Here it goes, 300, okay, halfway through is now. Okay, so from this point on, it just goes ballistic. Um, spreading it all over the goddamn, whoa. <laughs> Man, seeing this back is really cool. In like super speed. All the ships carrying, I like to have all the lines of it spreading. Everest, Africa's actually done pretty well to hold off, but no, it's, it cannot survive forever. 500 days, now everyone's dying from crazy amounts of, um, Infections and cr just just horrific symptoms. It's probably the most violent disease I've ever heard of. It had so many symptoms, and then the world just goes to black after two years and a bit. Well, not quite two years actually. Woof. And now we've got the aerocyte gene type and fungus plague. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, let me know if you want to see, you know, maybe another one-off video on this game. Maybe I can do one of the um, scenarios or something. I might be able to download the Ebola scenario. I think there's one that someone made, which might be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. Just let me know. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.